26 year old primary married 4 years infertility treated natural conception regular anc at your hospital at our hospital at 24 weeks of gestation presented with heaviness of lower abdomen mild blood stain discharge pv since early morning no leaking no fever no dysuria no pain or increased frequency no strip gdm on examination patient is febrile with uh, pulse rate of 80 normal bp normal mm, uh, systemic examination with normal fundal height normal fhs normal external loss is patulous okay blood stain discharge through the no leaking or bleeding pb not done patient taken up for emergency ultrasound showed as we madam was telling as we it is it is a y shaped funneling of the cervix so residual length is only 1.5 patient sister gives a similar history of preterm labor at 24 weeks of gestation by standard section what do you do next and how will you count it these are the okay. problems here so basically whenever you talk about management we talk about three things should you give steroids because she falls under that category of 24 to 34 weeks when we give madam steroids. here you can discuss steroids also madam uh, okay. along with this you can discuss steroids also okay, okay. role of steroids in preterm labor also can be discussed okay. along okay so normally steroids we give between 24 and 34 weeks of pregnancy you understand so that is a normal time that we give steroids and what do we give we give beta methasone we give 12 mg 24 hours apart we give two doses Okay. Uh, madam roll up dexamethasone uh, yeah dexamethasone if you're giving you give uh, 6 mg and you'll have to give it 12 hourly four doses if you ask me which is better i will say both are the same uh, today we find that you know there is uh, one is not superior to the other in fact if you ask me superior wise with the beta methasone that is available to us we have got the phosphate um, salt of beta methasone in fact what we require is acetate salt so we don't have that so that way if you look actually the dexamethasone scores over the beta methasone actually so but anyway as of now they both are the same level but what i told you some time back you will, this is called one course so giving the two shots of beta methasone or giving the four shots of dexa is called a course not a dose but a course now will you repeat it yes that's uh, a that big, that's, what, a, uh... that's a million dollar question but it is said that now i told you between 24 and 34 weeks right if the pregnancy has gone beyond 2 weeks after you have given that and the patient has not delivered and you expect imminent delivery within the next 7 days then probably you can give her one more shot of uh, steroids but don't give too much of steroids please remember don't repeat the course when you repeat it what happens is they say that they go in for uh, demyelination and the child later on is born as a cp baby so repeated doses rescue do all that is all gone so if you have given in a super example i'm just giving a small example i gave it at 26 weeks and now she has come now uh, at 31 weeks okay i may give it i may give okay, again okay. Uh, i may give it because she's crossed two weeks beyond that and there you give single dose or same course what yeah. same full course you yeah. give yeah that is again and it is preferable to give one single dose but sometimes we may repeat the course also That is Then another problem. What they ask is that after 34 weeks, what is your view? See, mm -hmm. if the patient comes at 35 weeks, okay, 34 weeks only. You told 35 weeks. What is the role of steroids? Giving steroids. So it is said that between 34 and 36 weeks, also, if the patient has not had steroids earlier, you can give it because steroids will protect against three things. It protects against uh, respiratory distress syndrome. it protects against intraventricular hemorrhage and necrotizing enterocolitis so it has got other benefits and so um, you can give it if you want if she has not received before 34 weeks between 34 and 36 weeks you can give it then there is even the acog will also say to give it in elective cases at 39 weeks that is only to prevent the transient tachypnea of the newborn which is not required now because it is a self limiting condition so really you don't have to give it beyond this uh, period which we have said okay uh, coming back to this uh, anyway steroid we told what are the other things madam you do in this case uh, yeah in this case right so then i i will plan for an emergency cyclage in this patient okay, okay. because uh, so i i about giving steroids i don't know it's a big query query because it's only 24 weeks but i will just but what i would do for this patient would be i would plan an emergency cyclage for her and most importantly i will counsel her to have a cyclage early in the next pregnancy that is very important because i don't know what will happen to this pregnancy so from from this angle the progesterone may not help 
adding on in the event of an established preterm labor it may not help at all if the patient has already been on progesterone you can continue the progesterone but what you can do for this patient is put a cyclage for her and tell her next time please remember you will have to put it early soon after the first trimester you should have a cyclage madam in this case will you go for tocolytics in this case no but she doesn't weeks. yeah she doesn't require tocolytics uh, because she has no pain but but whenever i put an emergency cyclage maybe okay. for 48 hours it's good to give a tocolytic because it quiescence the uterus and even before you put the cyclage i may start it because it helps me to put the cyclage now in this case it's only a y shaped ashwath if it was a u shaped funneling you must give a tocolytic before you put the cyclage because it it you know it quiescence the uterus it helps us the the membranes to be easily reduced inside and then when we put the cyclage it is very it's easy. very important madam very that important. is that is what uh, you have to uh, relieve the preterm labor then only you can put a cyclage okay, you sir. cannot against you cannot put a cyclage correct, that is correct. what otherwise Absolute, it will be absolutely. all torn um, so uh, this uh, in this case one more thing we will discuss madam as it to finish it uh, what about your view on magnesium sulfate for in this case not as a tocolytic a neuroprotective in this case see it says is 24 weeks gestation and all will you give or will you wait for uh, another 4 weeks uh, see my only issue about this case is that 24 weeks is really too early to give in a magnesium sulfate but the ideal time to give magnesium sulfate is before 32 weeks so at 31 30 29 20 wherever you think the baby is salvageable okay and you want to give a neuroprotective drug the drug that you give is magnesium sulfate and we give it in the same dose like 4 gram stat and 1 gram per hour for 24 hours okay yeah. but please remember one thing if the preterm pain subsides then you must stop the magnesium sulfate don't continue to give it because when you they say that when you give magnesium sulfate for more than a week there is osteopenia in the baby to be born so don't give it so once supposing i started it and then the pain subsided stop your magnesium sulfate also but in this case whether i will give it i may not give it uh, and one, if if for example once you have given at 27 weeks okay uh. patient again comes at 33 weeks is there yeah. like steroid uh, is there any again role for magnesium sulfate yes certainly there is certainly you can repeat the magnesium sulfate as long as it is before 32 weeks